Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to continue on our Red vs. Blue journey. We are now on Season 17, and we're going to be doing Episodes 7 through 9, Episode 7 being Limbo, as you can see, uh, or you will in a second. I wanted to say once again thank you to everybody who watches. You guys do mean the world to me. Uh, special shout out to our patrons. Uh, couldn't do it without you, and as always, we give you that shout out both in our credit titles down in all over the place so once again thank you guys so much uh and as always you know remember to check out the original content because if we don't support rooster teeth and red versus blue and ruby and all that then we don't get more great series from them uh and at and at and t will dismantle them if they stop making money so yeah we gotta we gotta really pimp it out for them with that being said i'm super excited now that the whole group is together and have caused a bunch of really serious time fractures i can't wait to see exactly how this is going to play out what they're going to do to travel through time and stop this because they've got to go and stop them from saving wash which technically uh, i don't know how it works because they're in an area of like soft time or fluid time whatever uh it's going to be def difficult to say um but we're going to get right into it uh, as always, if you wanted to chat with us, you can check out the Discord, which is also in the link below, where we like to chat about all kinds of different shows, animes, TV series, books, uh, most fandoms I'm into. Not all of them, obviously, but a good, a good number. So, yeah, come and chat with us, and we're going to go ahead and get started on Episode 7 Limbo and see how it goes. I'm kind of sad, though, because if I remember correctly, this is a very, very short season. Um... Oh, that's right. We've left at like a red dwarf. That's well, well, ah. Uh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the red. That's a decent understanding, but in order to go back, you would... Well, they're, they're at the Big Bang, so she needs to go forward. Interesting, but... Not wrong, but one of the many, many multiversal theories... Ah! 
I do not. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Right? My medical tire iron. I can't remember how long it took him to figure out that dude's language. <laughs> yep, spinning around at light speed. Caboose is unstuck from time, let's be. But yeah, that's not how
They only did that because he gave them time guns. Alright. Alright. Let's let's pause it. Because they keep putting up some of these false pretenses in the story to try to push the narrative, I guess. But making bad pretenses doesn't make your narrative good. Right? It's kind of like starting with shitty ingredients. You can sometimes get a good thing. But if you start with rotten cheese, you're probably just going to end up with a rotten product. Um... The, all that happens because of him, right? They could not go fuck around with time had he not listened to some random time god and went to save time because he didn't feel important enough. Is That's their fault for being assholes. And once again, they're always assholes. That's true and demeaning to him. But to pretend once again that he is the hero and not the guy making up for his own mistakes is doesn't push a very like good background narrative If you say so. Also not necessary there, because Wash can time travel. <laughs> Alright, well let's see how they fuck up this, this apology. Because once again, he's totally right about that. Why he started, like you said, that totally is caused by there. Once again, you... At the end of the day, everybody makes their own choices unless they're being mind controlled or chemically altered or some shit, right? Like, if it's not that, I'm going with you made a choice and whether or not it was bad or motivated by some actual, maybe meaningful, uh, worthwhile reasons, you know, doesn't mean that it wasn't a fuck up. So it's just funny to me because he's tried to, fr the, with the music stuff, they try to frame it like that or he tries to frame it like that. But. When you add on the music in the scene. I like that.
<laughs> day after. I like that they got B Bernie to be there and do the voice. It's actually JJ. Ha, <laughs> he's overriding him.
That's not Andy. That would technically keep some of it. Interesting. All right, we got one more. Oh, we got one more on us, and then we uh, we'll actually. I think we actually get to the end of here. I'll check it one, one quick sec. Yeah. Shit. Okay. We're finishing tonight. Oh. That is funny. Is he gonna fuck it up?
<laughs> okay, he has so much concussion. <laughs> Of course he did. That feels like a Lord of the Rings reference. He has to get the brain injury again. That sucks, man. Think of time. 
a little gross. A little bit. A little bit too much time with Donut, man. Donut is fun. Oh, wow, real. That's the end of the episode. Oh, not quite. There's some noise. There we go. Oh. So you just stop time. But if they, if time was stopped, they wouldn't need to breathe. But whatever. So that was an interesting set of episodes. I really enjoyed it. Uh, as always, they have a really good way of surprising me uh, as far as the ending. Because I, I knew that Wash would have to go get shot. That was really the, the big one. Like, honestly, even all the cracks before that, as bad as they were, they probably would have... You would re-solidify time once you did that. We could talk about all the paradoxes and how paradoxes prevent paradoxes from happening but once again we're not here to talk about time travel we're here to talk about red versus blue and i thought it was a pretty great episode a set of episodes they always really do impress me with the little things right like little details of old episodes or character things right like sarge just continuously doing the blue deletion uh, and so it's really always fun for me to go back and see how they pull on their old stuff to inform their new stuff. I do like the twist with, you know, Gankins taking all that power, because he really did seem to be, you know, in a better situation to move towards that kind of stuff, you know? So, that's just my opinion, though, so obviously somebody else might have a different opinion. With that being said, I want to thank everybody once again for watching. Remember to support the original content creators, Rooster Teeth, because without them, we really don't get these great products like Red vs. Blue and Ruby. And uh, if you enjoyed watching, like, comment, subscribe, you know, hit the bell and get updated on new stuff. Uh, or, you know, tell me that I suck. That's fine, too. You know, that's your opinion. I appreciate that. And if you really want to see this without having the video overlay and the audio cuts and everything that we have to do to keep from getting taken down, uh, you can get that for as low as a dollar a month on our Patreon, uh, where we have a bunch of other episodes and stuff too. So thanks as always, guys, and we'll see you next time on Reactions with an X, Red vs. Blue, Season 17.